episode about managing your population. So I was um, doing some stuff here on my main city. It's a level 30. Uh, what I'm doing today is I'm, I'm rearranging my buildings to manage my population easier. So I've been in this bind for a few days. I keep telling you guys that I broke down all my resource fields so that I could make more granaries and warehouses because I needed population available to make granaries and warehouses and also to move my residential section around. Uh, what I was doing was I was um, really building out my luxurious housing. That's these guys here. I'll, I'll point it out to you. My high-end residences, I was uh, rearranging them so that there's you, I'm trying to make it so that there's two next to each other and that they share all these um, all these commerce buildings so you'll see I, I'm trying to stay as true to it as I can but they need decorations they need water and then of course they need all the commerce buildings so I'm trying to do this in a way where everything's under the gladiator or the Colosseum and everything's under the university. So I just pulled it off here. Now, down here in my, let's see, I'm just gonna use its technical term, ordinary residence building area, I've got a whole nother problem going on. Um, a, I can't meet taxation needs. I don't have enough carpet. Uh, because I don't have enough wool, I don't have enough sheep farms. Um, so I've really got myself in a bind here. Here, let me show you this whole area over here. It used to then run down here and come up here. This all used to be wheat, spinach, uh, sheep farms. Uh, hunting villages for meat and I've broken all of that down let's see yeah I have no I have no wool so uh, managing population you can see up here I've got a very very large population of 6,700 people uh, almost 6,800 but I only have 37 workers available um, so what I need to do is I need to figure out why some of these housing up here are not filling up. So it's got 54 out of 73. I need this building here. I'll use my face here. I need this building here to look like this building here. So you see how this has got this kind of like marble roof, marble roof, round roof. Uh, the reason for that is some of these buildings are happy. And some of these buildings are not. So, boom, I've started the general office. We're gonna click info. New immigrants will move here soon. So I made this building happy. Now, the reason why neither of these buildings were happy and they were stuck at 54 is 54 is the population cap if you don't have a general office. Um, so, now that I've got a general office right there. This is gonna be happy until the next uh, cap is met. So hopefully I've got everything met here and this will allow me to upgrade this building. Now the reason this level 10 residence is here next to this level nine residence is because I pulled this level 10 residence from over here and I put it down over here. Um, over here, I need beliefs. I believe this is a mosque. Yep, so that'll solve that. I have some other needs over here as well. So let's just keep finding them. So all these beliefs should be handled by this mosque that's being built. Carpets. So yes, I've got a segment over here that desperately needs carpet. So what I need to do is I need to move one of these buildings out and I need to put a carpet stall in here. I also need to make sure that wherever I put this building, uh, that it's got all of the things that it needs right now. 
The other great thing, oh man, 70, sheesh. Oh, that's a seven down there. So if you have a building that only has, let's say four people in it, even if the max is 73, uh, it only takes four people to move that building. So the one of the best things that you can do is find buildings that are very, very negatively affected by their location. So this one's 64, I'm gonna try to remember that because that's one of the lower 64 again. So it looks like I'm not gonna get away easy this time. Oh look, I can upgrade this one. Uh, also, by keeping your buildings upgraded, you're gonna be increasing your population as well. So make sure that you keep checking. You see this was down here? That was a unit that was hidden by this other unit. And I could have upgraded that maybe yesterday, the day before, um, when I needed this population problem to be solved, I should have found that. Okay, so these are all max level. They look healthy. They're full of unit. They're full of us uh, citizens. Need a general office all the way down here. So I have a general office here. And you see it, it's not getting to some of these inner buildings here. So I'm thinking I probably need to pull this out. I probably need to pull this out. It's carpets right now, but it'll be the general office next. I'm... Okay, no, so that's covered. So it's really just this one here. So I'm gonna pull this out when I can. I'm gonna need 64 available people. Another thing that you can do if you need available population, this is how I got myself into this bind, but I'm gonna do it again. I did this in another video, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna break down one of these resource fields. Let's zoom out. Oh, great. So I just completed a building. I wanna click it. New immigrants will move here soon. Great, so it's got zero in it, looks happy so far. Um, let's see, I'm looking for a farm that I can break down. I really don't wanna break down a farm that's in the middle of producing and that's got all of these buildings. So these two buildings right here, this is the water wheel and this is the mill. They're both buildings that you pay a little bit of extra in diamonds to have because they give you a resource, um, they give you a boost in production. So I don't wanna break those down. So I wanna find something that's not as important. There we are, off production and dumpster, um, 57. So if we can do that again, what's not, so none of these are really working. So let's go see how much tobacco I have, because if I have a lot of tobacco, maybe I'll break down a tobacco field. I've got 1600. I don't need all these tobacco fields, especially since they're not really being positively affected by this water wheel. So they're less important to me. Uh, I, just out of efficiency, that's one of, oh wow, I really freed up some population there. So this is another thing that you can do. I don't need all these uh, tobacco fields because I've got a lot of tobacco in store for myself. So I'm breaking down those tobacco fields to free up population. Now let's go back to our, oh, we finished another building. Great, so that's gonna give us more uh, population. Now we had a unit down here that wasn't covered by the general office. Uh, da -da -da -da. I think it's that one. So let's pick it up and let's find a spot for it. I'm thinking over here. Is that the right one? Perfect, okay. So it really is just this one. So I'm gonna pull this up. Maybe this is where I'll put a carpet stall since I need a carpet stall in that area. That's gonna go perfect right there. And now, there's a lot going on in here. It's really easy to forget to put something in that's needed like this. 
So try to do it as quickly as you can. And that's also because now these guys, they're hung up on carpet right now. So they're going to be able to get more people. They're going to get three more people per unit. Then I'm going to be able to upgrade them. And then they're going to get uh, 87. So by doing the small bit of shuffling around, I'm going to really increase my, uh, my unit count by, let's see, that's 14, I believe, 73, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep, that's 14. If I'm wrong, I'm terrible at math under pressure. I'm pretty good at math, but I'm, I'm really bad at math under pressure. So, And this is pressure to me. So, <laughs> it's an easy life. Um, so that's a little bit about managing population. Um, one thing that I will say is that you know, you've got to keep clicking around. You're going to keep breaking down farms and building farms that you need. Um, just be versatile. Remember to always click your housing. And if they're not, I'm looking down here now. If this number doesn't say 73 out of 73, you've got to click the little info button and you've got to find out why. So right now we're waiting on immigrants. So another quick tip, I don't do this very often. I'm kind of a hoarder, but if you're in this bind where you need immigrants and you're waiting on a ton of immigrants to go through, what you can do is you can go to your pack and you get these things. I think they're called uh, immigrant call-ins. Let's go to our pack. Yep. Yep. So here it is. I'm going to use it since I need a lot of immigrants. Boom. See how fast it's going now? And look at all these immigrants that I'm getting. Oh, cool. Cool. So because this carpet stall just went through... Now I'm getting massive amounts of immigrants uh, also. Oh, perfect. So you want to make sure you've got yourself set up for success before you do this. I probably should have done this um, before. I probably should have done all these buildings. Ah, I wasted my immigrant call in on some of these. Oh, well. So now that I've done the immigrant call in and I've got a lot more uh more free workers, I can start rebuilding some of these uh, wheat fields and some of these tobacco fields. So let's look at what I have a huge, so I've got a huge, huge deficit in grain. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna put up a bunch of grain. I'm also gonna try to re, oh, can't quite do it yet. And all that is good. Let's go over to this guy. Cause I know this, really wants grain so or, or wheat yeah let me just use the right words wheat boom there's wheat see now i i think one two three oh i'm not going to be able to get another one in there so oh so i was really hoping that i could get one in here because this mill it it's got that little one white box. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's, it's a good try. So that's how you get more immigrants. Um, the main thing you want to be doing is clicking these houses, making sure they're full of immigrants. If they're not, um, you've got to figure out why. So... It looks like my carpet stall and moving that other house out of here fixed this problem. So I'm gonna be able to upgrade all of these houses now. What is this? One, two, three, four. Five. Oh no. So my carpet stall didn't hit these two buildings right here. Um, six, seven. So the reason I'm counting is because eight, nine, 10, 
11, 12, is because I know that I'm going to get 14 more uh, available like bedrooms per building. Um, I think there was 12 of them. So we're up to 140, 14 times two is 28. So great, so I'm gonna get another 168 um, rooms available for immigrants. I think I'm gonna use another immigrant call-in on that. It certainly seems like it might be, might be worth it to me. Um, you know what, I moved to that other unit. I could put a carpet stall right there it might be a bad use of, uh... you know, it's, it's really kind of a bad use of a carpet stall to put one right there, but maybe I could get rid of another one. Uh, but for now, we'll call that good. And we'll get those two um, up as well. So that's our video on uh, population break down fields. Certain fields have more or less uh, workers in them. Wheat fields, I believe have 22. So wheat fields are my go-to. They're also really cheap on the market. So here, let me show you the market. And this is why I break down grain fields. They're a dollar a load. So, you know, grain fields are really easy to buy uh, to replace the product if you need it to tax. So, you know, I like breaking down grain fields. You get the most worker. It's an easy uh, product to replace. And yeah, um, you're going to struggle with population control throughout this game. So if you have any questions, if I missed anything, if you have any better tactics for population control, um, man, I'm about to like quit this video. I totally forgot something. So population control. So we've been moving things around. We've been, um, putting, you know, we've been putting our city together in a more organized fashion, what we've been doing is we've been moving pieces out of like this subdivision over here and we've been putting them up here. What that's done is it's given me stuff like this and like this, which are really no longer needed. So by breaking down this grain stall, by breaking down this fish stall, uh, by breaking down this fruit stall, I'm going to give myself about another 15 uh, available workers. And then this building here is kind of an odd man out. I must have just, you know, had to build that one more unit. Uh, let's see if it's even covered by everything, because it's probably not. Yeah, it's not. Let's see. Yeah, it's the only one not covered here by the university system. So I'm going to move this house up here to this new little subdivision that we've been working on. Boop. Oh, boop. Oh, it'll get there. There it is. All right. So that is going to help me out because it's also going to get that, um, that unit to upgrade as well. Man, our carpet stalls, they're just they're just missing the mark. I just keep missing these units by one space. Let's see where our carpet stall is. Well, thankfully we got room down here. Let's see, let's see. Is that also, oh no, it's good to go. So we need spice. Carpet? Okay. So let's do like carpet over here. Oh, let's make sure this doesn't need carpet. So that needs spices. So we're going to do like carpet here. Oh, 
Oh, spice stalls falling short as well. Um, hmm, maybe. Jeez, we're just not getting lucky today. Wow. Uh, it might be another case of where I need to. I, I'm not really sure how I'm going to get in there. So, hmm. The other thing to do is to look for overlapping responsibilities. So right here is a grain stall. Here's another one. It's a fish stall. Huh. Wait a moment. What is this? Ha! Huh. Okay. There's our answer. We've got two repair stations here. Um, my fear is that I built one of these repair stations with foresight and with wisdom, uh, and I'm about to destroy it. So that's my fear. Um... We have this one that covers all of this, this one that covers all of this, this one covers all this. Okay, so if I move this repair station, oh man, okay, but that's going to be covered by the new repair station. We're good. We're still good. So we're going to address um, that other complaint that people here need a place to worship here in a minute. Uh, that is going to require the building of a church or a mosque. Where is this dude's carpet stall? Oh, wow. It really does just fall one short. You know what? I got a better idea. What is this? That's an apartment. I think I was going to put a carpet stall right there, but instead, I think I'm going to move this one down. Oh man, it still doesn't cover everything. What if I move this one over here? Hmm. Kind of in a tough spot with this carpet stall here. I'm going there. And you know, because I see this one over here. We're going to check our dangers. Okay, I think we're good. So this is where the game gets you. You may have seen that I started out trying to do the sugar stall, then I did a spice stall. Um, now I'm getting distracted by this place of worship. Um, let's back out. Let's finish the things we have finished. Okay. All right, 
All right, we're looking for things that aren't upgraded yet. Man, all right. So I'm really glad I'm making this video for you guys because I've shown you multiple tactics on how to clear up space for immigrants. Uh, one, uh, break down resource fields that are now unnecessary or um, you know inappropriately placed for the expansion of your city. Uh, two, reorganize. Make sure you don't have uh, commercial vendor stalls like uh, fish, vegetable, grain stalls that are no longer being used, no longer covering territory. B, I'm sorry, three. Um, check your houses. You wanna click on all your lowest level housing and you wanna click this info button down here so that you can see you know, what they need. The people here urgently need beliefs. So then you click this little I right there you just click it. Oh, so they need a mosque. Okay, great. So right now I'm blessed with a very, very healthy population. So we can just go to religion, small mosque. Oh, not enough wood. So we can do two things. We can go look at our wood, which we'll do first. Wood populates pretty quick, thankfully. The other thing we could have done, I imagine I'll need more wood. We'll go to the trading station. Wood. Now wood is $49, $46 a load. That's a lot. Um, that is a considerable amount for wood. Failure to purchase. So $46.12 was not enough for wood. Let's try $46.50. Boom. Okay, so 4650. The market's going up a little bit. That's all. Or it's holding around that area. Uh mosque. Mosque, mosque, mosque. Wait, what is this? That is a mosque. It's covering all that area. Okay. Well, it looks like another one is needed. So that's funny in uh, in the world chat right there this went went across my screen someone was trying to tell everybody in the world um not to bid on the market or not not to bid high or sell high cuz it will run the market up um I think that's funny cuz you you can't really try to control the market like that it's uh it's too big I mean look at these turnovers you know, I mean, I guess 900,000 grain isn't huge considering, you know, how much grain I use in a day. But, you know, yesterday's turnover. Wow, you know, 1.8 million. So, okay, so I think that's the full video on um, managing population, keeping your population high. Um, if you liked this video, give it a like, subscribe to the, the channel, leave some comments below if you think that I should add anything, if, uh, if you found something better that works better for you, please let me know. I'm more than happy to make another video and help people out. If you got friends that are struggling with the game, send them a link to the video. I appreciate you guys. Um, play strong. Stay awesome.